So welcome to the School of Business and Management. As mentioned before, we have wonderful faculty here. Um, they're here to talk about undergraduate programs in business general, accounting, and human resources. So here are a list of um, awesome programs that we do offer at Niagara College, which our wonderful faculty will be happy to give you more information about throughout this whole session. And I'd like to now pass it off to our Niagara College program co coordinators to do an introduction and uh, please provide more information about their respective programs. Well, hello, everybody. I'm the first photo that you see on the screen. My name is Barb Smith and I'm the program coordinator for the Human Resources uh, uh, Co-op Program. And I'll be speaking to you about the program in a few more minutes. Hi everyone, my name is Carrie Simich and I am the uh, Program Coordinator for our Accounting Programs at Niagara College. And good morning to all. I'm Manik Finley and I'm the Program Coordinator of the Business General Program. And I think I get to kick things off right now. Do I move the slides? Oh, no, that will be me. Sorry, there's just a little bit of a lag. Okay. I want to start off by, by really congratulating you for taking the time to figure out what your next step is with respect to education. Um, you've got a big of a challenge in front of you and that you've got to pick a program that you like and a program of, of learning that's gonna get you where you want to be once you graduate to, to kickstart your career. And as far as the general business program goes, it's just a fabulous program if you want to have an overview of the business world. We cover all of the aspects that need to be covered in running a small to medium sized business. And maybe that's where you wanna work or perhaps your family has a small or to medium sized business and you want to prepare yourself to move into that or even maybe you've got an idea to start your own business. This general business program will give you all of the different aspects that you're going to need to be successful in this kind of business environment. Next slide. Now, the business program the general business program might be all you need. You might want to come to these two, um, two years, these four semesters of learning and get that kind of grounding and background that you're gonna to need to be successful in your career. Or the business general program is also a great starting point where you get to taste the little bits of the aspects of business. And from there, you can either specialize or go on to further education that will really fine tune your interests so that you'll be able to so that you'll be able to further delve into particular areas of the business that you found interesting because our business program is so general in its offerings and in the content that you're going to be learning. The flexibility of our program is I, I just finished some research and I found nothing like this in any other business general program in the colleges throughout Ontario. And I'll tell you what we, what I mean by that. Next slide. This is what we've done in order for you to follow and, and, and um, really move through your own path of learning. All of these programs here that you see, the business admin diploma of international business, human resource, all of these programs at Niagara College have the exact same first two terms. So regardless of where you're, 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 you registered and whatever you're studying in, all of these programs having the same two terms allows you an, an incredible amount of flexibility. It really does because you can start in the general business program take these courses in the first two terms and then decide that you want to move into the human resources um, diploma program. You can do that without skipping a beat. These programs, these programs and these two um, terms 
not only give you the opportunity to fine tune or to change in your third term if you want to go into a different diploma, but if you have started in any of these diplomas, but decide after the first two terms, you know what, I still want to have a very, I want to move out of, I want to move out of marketing and I want to go into a more general business education, you can move into the general business program. So do you see the kind of flexibility you get at Niagara College? You can move in and out as you sample all the different courses that would be offered in a business world. This kind of flexibility, it, it's, I, I haven't found it anywhere in my research. What happens though, if you decide to stay in the general business program is something very interesting in terms three and terms four. So the first two terms, you've taken a general overview of the many different aspects of business. If you want, by picking the electives, because there's so much flexibility in the electives you get to choose in Niagara's business general program, by picking the electives, you can specialize. You will graduate with a general business diploma, but you'll have a specialty or a concentration in the courses that you have picked in terms three and terms four that will really give you a better background in these four areas. So for example, in term three, by picking the recruitment and selection and interviewing elective that you would have an opportunity to, you can set yourself up by picking even more human resource. I'm just, I'm just taking the top example. You can, you can fine tune in level four by picking other electives. So again, you get the, you get the notoriety of a general business diploma with the ability to specialize, I'm so sorry, with the ability to specialize by thoughtfully and deliberately picking your electives in the last two sem semesters of your program. I, I, the other aspect of this is where you're going to school in order to either continue your education or to get a job. The respect that employers have for our general business program is fabulous. They know that, that coming through with a general business program diploma at Niagara College, you are set up well to run many different aspects, or at least to be introduced, not to run, but to in, be introduced to many different aspects that their business might need you to work in. And more than that, what it teaches employers is this you can be taught, you can learn. So when they hire you as perhaps an entry level um, frontline production service supervisor, they know, they know that you have gone through this program, you have learned a plethora of different educational courses and they can teach you what they need you to know to be successful in their business. So here's a list of different kinds of careers that you can jump into with this wonderful overview, general business education. Our employers really value the graduates, but I need you to know that our graduates really, uh, really value and really appreciate the breadth of learning that they have here in the School of Business. Not only that, but the, but the ability of their professors to teach them what they need to know in order to get started on their career path. Gilles, just, Gilles we have this, um, this quote that, uh, that Gilles felt that he really wanted to express in gratitude for our program. Education is great stuff. You're going to learn what you need to know. Your professors are well educated and have a wealth of experience in whatever programs they're teaching you. But that's only part of it. At Niagara College, there's all of these other things like case competitions and poster competitions and we call it experiential learning, where you really get to apply the stuff you've learned to business 
to business environments. Like for example, the case competition, should you decide to join these competitions? And I really hope you do. Not only are they fabulous, but they look fabulous on a resume. A case competition is one that you or and a small team of people might be given a real life case, a real life business problem. And you will read that case and figure out what should be done next. And that's the application that you get at Niagara College. You learn stuff and then you get to have all of these opportunities on applying what you learn. So at the end of it, not only do you get a fabulous build on your resume, you know for sure that you can do this kind of stuff, that you can be given a business problem and through the education that you've had, figure out how to work it. And that's where the magic starts. And that's where you really springboard off into your career. So I really do hope that if the general business program is something that seems to fit your, your future and being able to get you to where you want to be, I'd love to see you in class. Thank you. Sorry, guys, I was just answering questions in the chat there and I will, um, or in the Q&A. And actually, Monique, if you want to take a look at the next question in the uh, Q&A there, I think that's probably one you could answer. Okay, hi, everybody. My name is Carrie Simich and I am the program coordinator for uh, the accounting programs at Niagara College. And so if, if you're here because you are a numbers aficionado who prides yourself on attention to detail and wants to invest in a career in finance, um, hopefully I'll be able to provide the information for you that you're looking. Um, so here we go, guys. So we have essentially um, uh, three main programs uh, in accounting. So one, is, the first one there is our business accounting program. It's a two-year uh, program. The second one that you see there in the middle is our business administration accounting. And then the third is another business administration, again, um, the business administration is three-year program, and we have both the academic and the co-op stream, depending on what, what your interests are there. Um, so essentially, there are these three different um, uh, groupings. The first year is all, um, all of the courses will be the same. So very much like what Monique was speaking about with the general business program, um, regardless of which program you apply into uh, and get accepted into, um, you will still do all of the same courses and you do get a good mix. You get all different. It's not just going to be accounting focused. Um, you get a good mix of different business uh, courses. So the, the good thing about that is that you do have some opportunity to uh, switch. So if you got into uh, business administration, the three-year accounting program and you decided that maybe you wanted to only do two years, um, you can switch into that one because the first year is the same and vice versa. If you get into the two year and you wanted to, you think, hey, I'm really loving this. I'm going to go ahead and, and, and go into the third year. By all means, you can uh, make that request and switch into the three year program. So you do have some um, flexibility, okay, with, with, with these programs. So if you're not 100% sure when you make that initial application, just keep in mind that that's okay. There's some flexibility. You can always uh, change your decisions as you go along. Um, and, and again, similar to what Monique was saying, we do have a lot of experiential learning within our program, a lot of uh, case studies, group work, collaboration, um, things like that to you know, sort of assist with that learning experience. So this is just a quick, uh, shot of those courses that I mentioned mentioned there for uh, the first year. So term one and term two are the same. Um, and these would be the courses that everybody is taking regardless of the stream that you are in. And as I mentioned, you get a good variety of, uh, of, of college courses, of business courses, as well as some, uh, of course, some accounting courses. When you get into year two, that's where the focus is really going to shift more into accounting courses, um, tax and um, accounting software, intermediate accounting, and a little bit more of a focus there on accounting courses into that second year. 
And so there's lots of career opportunities um, out there for, uh, for our graduates. And uh, this is just, you know, a little bit of an example. Um, we have a number of employers that provide opportunities for our, our co-op students, as well as for our graduates. Um, some of those employers are Bridgman and Dirksen, which is a local accounting firm, MNP, Niagara Region, Bayview Group, uh, Niagara Casinos, as well as the Skyline, uh, amongst others. Um, so there's definitely a lot of opportunities for our students that are that are graduating from the accounting programs. I actually had uh, um, a gentleman from an accounting firm contact me about a week ago, looking for, uh, you know, wanting to fill an accounting position from one of our grads. And unfortunately for him, um, that's really hard to find because the majority of our grads, a large percentage of them, um, have already, uh, you know, sealed some, some amazing positions um, and they have jobs already. So I, I wasn't even able to help him out to help him find a grad because they all have jobs. So that's, that's great news. Um, so there's definitely a lot of different positions for, um, for our graduates. And this is a testimonial similar to what um, uh, Monique had had with, with her student, Gilles. And it says, because of COVID-19, we had to shift to online line learning, which was a little, I was a little skeptical about at first, but because I was not sure the professors would be able to provide the same level of support, which, I mean, obviously we, we try to give as much support to our students as we can. Um, but after just a few weeks into that semester, I realized the professors were just as helpful online as well. They replied to all my emails and questions quickly and provided all the support I needed. I'm glad I chose Niagara. Can't wait to rest, see what the rest will bring. Um, and, and so this is a really great testimonial to uh, the faculty that we have within the accounting department. Um, and I've had students who, you know, I'm currently teaching now who have reached out and, and expressed their excitement to, to meet us face to face. So um, at, at Niagara, we definitely do try to, you know, maintain those relationships. We have these, you know, great classrooms where there is a lot of engagement that's happened. You will get to know your professors they will get to know you. Um, so it's it, definitely the learning environment. Um, it, it's a great one. So just like we've got here from our winter student. Um, so another thing that we're doing within the accounting uh, programs is we've started a, a, an accounting association. Uh, it's a student association. It's essentially a club um, set up for accounting students and run by accounting students. And so the idea behind this is to really try to develop skills and professional development um, and to further, to further your academic career as well as your future accounting career um, by providing different events. So whether it's networking events or having guest speakers, um, hopefully once we get back into uh, our face-to-face -face learning environment again, we'll be able to have more on-campus um, dinner events and uh, things like that where we can uh, have students give the have the opportunity to meet employers um, and to see what uh, awaits them in their in their future. So this is something that uh, I think many many students do uh, sort of um, find to be interesting as well as um, engaging for them. So I think that that takes me to the end of my uh, uh, little presentation here. So if, uh, if you have any questions for me, you can go ahead and put those into the Q&A and I'll do my best to answer them. I'm gonna pass it off to you now, Barb. Thank you, Carrie. I always learn something new every time I listen to your program <laughs> information, that's wonderful. So everybody, we're at the third uh, program that's gonna be highlighted this morning. And uh, two questions for you. Do you believe that an organization's greatest asset is its people? And do you have a keen interest in cultivating and supporting human resources to ensure organizational success? If you do, then HR is certainly uh, a discipline and an area that you should consider seriously. And by the time you get to this program, you've either decided through the general business program that Monique talked about that this is where you want to specialize in year two and year three, or you've decided right out of uh, high school that I want to study HR and you have entered the program right from first year. So there's a couple of 
streams that you would uh, be entering the program with. But as was mentioned, uh, both in both programs uh, that have been already highlighted, there is so much flexibility that allows you not to lose any of your credits um, as you start your career at Niagara College. So I'll go to the next slide, please. So if you are interested uh, to learn more about the Human Resources uh, Program and some of the career opportunities, uh, you probably have already perhaps looked at the program guide. Uh, either you have it in hard copy, uh, perhaps through your communications with our registrar's office, or you've simply been on the website and I've listed the uh, URL there, but it really is worth a, a look at. We have set our program guides up so that they're very easy to read. Uh, great coffee table books too, with a lot of uh, pictures of what our grads are doing, what the inside of the college uh, looks like, and you know, sort of the inside of the classrooms too. So there's an opportunity uh, through that, um, that exposure on the website to have a look at what, what Niagara College looks like inside. So there's a program overview that takes you through the sequencing of the three years of courses. Uh, so you can see what you're in for. Um, and then also the courses that are listed by term, which is also very helpful for you to see how the courses are uh, listed as well as uh, how long they are, um, what follows what courses um, and, and other um, pieces of information, especially with regards to career opportunities. Again, I'm speaking about the information that's listed on the website for the course program, uh, because I'm gonna be going through some of the highlights in my presentation. So I encourage you to take a look at the online information uh, because it is quite plentiful. So let me just take a few minutes to uh, outline some of the program highlights. So again, we, this is the Human Resources three-year co-op program. And we have a high graduate employment rate resulting from co-op work terms and industry related projects. So where do our graduates go? Well, a number of places in the Niagara area as well as outside the Niagara health system, our own HR department often hires our co-op students, the Falls View and Niagara casinos, many of the wineries, local wineries take in our HR uh, students, Jillian's Place, so many nonprofit organizations, Niagara Helicopters, Walker Industries, Henry Schein, just to name a few. So I'm very pleased that many of our co-op employers continue to ask for students on a regular basis. And we also continue to work with them on industry related projects. So they might not have a job uh, that lasts four months in duration, uh, but they might have a project that we can um, definitely integrate into one of our courses, our senior year courses, when you feel more confident with your skills and ability and uh, to put it out to an employer. And it's absolutely wonderful to have an industry related project to put on your resume going forward. We also have a lot of career development workshops. We have a very strong partnership with a number of different organizations that help uh, in building your career in HR. And we do a lot of networking and industry events with them. And I'm gonna highlight them uh, in a little while, specifically with the uh, Human Resources Professional Association. One of our graduates is the president of the Niagara chapter. So we are very much connected to what happens in Niagara with regards to the Human Resources uh, Professional Association. And you can see the letter CHRP uh, because that is the professional designation that many employers ask for when they're hiring an HR graduate. You may have already seen this in some of your um, search for jobs in HR. And our courses are aligned uh, to the CHRP certifications, which simply means that if you are successful in the courses and get a certain average, then you are eligible to write the exams without further extra study, okay? So it gets you to the door in order to write the exams for the CHRP or CHRL if you choose to go on to a degree, which I'll talk about in a few minutes. Some of the other program highlights include uh, digital and project management skills development, uh, we are very uh, big on making sure that you have a great online profile with building it in LinkedIn uh, through your first year computer course and then adding to it uh, as you go through uh, some of the other courses in the HR program like recruitment and selection because recruitment and selection would definitely be looking at how to capitalize and optimize LinkedIn. So we wanna make sure that you have a wonderful profile uh, online. 
And project management, again, is a key skill that many employers are asking for. So we do have a project management course, just to name a few. There are opportunities to work and study abroad. Some of our students have taken advantage uh, when we could travel much more easily to go to Ireland. And we also went to the Disney Institute too, to learn more about customer service skills and HR development um, uh, programs. I mentioned that we have uh, connections with associations like the HRPA, but we also have connections with the Occupational Health and Safety Standards in Ontario as well as the uh, Institute for Performance and Learning. So if training and development is your area of expertise and you'd like to develop more and network more in that area, uh, we can take you into that association to see what has to be done and connect you with the with key players in that organization. And as I mentioned before, um, you are eligible to write the exams uh, for the CHRP designation, as long as you have met a minimum standard uh, of the nine core courses. It takes a lot of work to make sure that the courses are aligned to, uh, to the HRPA requirements. And so we are very proud that we have a good association with them and work diligently with them to make sure that we are keeping our courses up to date and aligned to their recommendations. All right, so uh, further on the program highlights, um, the nice thing about this program is you can start in September or you can start in January. So we have a two um, prong um, start date for the course. So that is very helpful. Some students like to take a little bit of time uh, after they finish high school. Sometimes they want to pick up a few more credits. They want to maybe, um, I don't know, take, maybe take some time to work uh, so they could come to us in January. But I'm sure that um, other people have talked about the opportunity and when you can start at the college through the other um, open house uh, program information pieces. You already know that there is a co-op term uh, in the HR program. And uh, again, we are very um, pleased with the amount of co-op jobs that uh, come available to us. But one thing that students don't realize about co-op, if there's a company that you'd like to work for, uh, tell the co-op advisors because they will uh, be happy on your part to knock on the door and ask if there are any opportunities for our students. So don't be shy about uh, becoming a partner with our HR, or with, excuse me, with our, our HR co-op advisors because they are there uh, to serve you. So don't wait around for the co-op to come. If you get enthusiastic and excited about an opportunity with the company, work with them in order to try and secure an opportunity, a work opportunity for you, even if it is short term. Uh, we also have a lot of project-based learning that goes on in the college uh, or at, in the program within the college. Okay, Many of our uh, other departments uh, have knocked on our door, especially when it comes to recruitment and selection, you know, helping them, uh, others uh, prepare for interviews. We've done that with our health, health sciences uh, students, as well as our technicians in horticulture and in the uh, some of the other uh, trade programs that we have. So we do uh, get to practice our skills, especially around training and development and recruitment selection. I want to spend a little bit of time talking about pathways to, to the degree, but I do believe I have a slide on that. So um, I will take that um, a point to the end. Uh, and I think I'll go to the next slide to talk about HR at NC. That's right. So at our student association has been in existence for quite a while now, at least 10 years. And um, we are very connected to um, the, the local community, as well as our associations that are usually are housed in Toronto. Uh, but we also expose students to national associations too. But some of the people that we've brought in um, is the HR APA Association. And again, we're lucky to have the Niagara chapter president as one of our graduates. And we also have a connection with uh, Indeed, the, one of the world's biggest job sites. And we have a representative that comes in and has spoken to us virtually about the 10 best ways to use Indeed uh, for your next job search and, and getting that job. And every time I listen to the presentation, I learn something new about how to work through Indeed in order to, to find that job that's going to you know, meet uh, my skills in the best way possible. We also, um, you know, we, we do presentations that uh, deal with diversity and, um, and making sure that we're aligned to a lot of the Employment Standards Act that is always changing and making sure that we bring our students, you know, cutting edge, up-to-date information as possible. 
Um, health and safety panel is also a popular um, event that we um, hold. A lot of students don't think that they want to go into health and safety, and then they find that health and safety representatives are very much part of every organization, and they do get involved and enjoy that aspect of their job. So we bring in students that work in a health and safety capacity from the hospital as well as private industry and talk about their role in the workplace. And we're very also pleased to uh, have a connection with a local uh, a lawyer, a very um, esteemed lawyer in Niagara, um, Mike Benomi, and he comes in every semester to talk about employment law and all of the um, important things that employers have to remember and to keep in mind to keep themselves out of jail when it comes to uh, employment uh, strategies and tactics that uh, they may use. Because let's remember, not every employer is uh, well versed in HR. That's why it's important that they hire either internally or, um, or they outsource for HR uh, professionals to help them make sure that they are meeting their, their strategies and their overall goals and staying on the right side of the law. Some of the career options that you have in HR include an HR data analyst, you could be an HR generalist, a generalist which many of our students uh, start with right away before they decide they'd like to specialize. And you can specialize in recruitment and selection, payroll and benefits. You can be an information systems administrator. So if you like the tech part of things, many organizations are now spending many, many thousands of dollars with information systems and somebody has to be looking after it. As I mentioned, health and safety coordinators are also a popular route. HR consultants, perhaps you want to go out on your own. We, have, we are operating in a gig economy now. So if you have a particular specialization and experience in that area, then you may want to outsource your your uh, skills and abilities. Labor relations, again, if you are planning to move into a union environment or prefer that environment, uh, you can specialize in labor relations. And if training development is your thing, uh, then you can certainly specialize in that and get more certification on top of the few courses that we will take you through in our program. One of our program uh, graduates, Julie Smith, has provided a, a testimonial and uh, she mentions that the knowledge, experience, and approachability of the program factory were major factors in equipping me with the tools and skills necessary to enter the HR profession. And you know, we're very pleased that uh, Julie has been very successful in her career. And uh, we as faculty enjoy putting on these events. We enjoy helping students put on the events because they are student-run organizations. And uh, if you have any ideas, we usually like to hear about them. And uh, take them to fruition and help you develop them so that it is a great opportunity for everybody to also um, enjoy and uh, develop, develop some leadership skills in this capacity. And our program opens the door to a degree uh, with articulation uh, agreements that we have with um, other uh, programs. So from NC, from Niagara College, with uh, one of in, a, in the business program, you could go to Griffith University. Now, that is an online opportunity and uh, get a bachelor's of business administration. Uh, so there is that opportunity after three years. And even more so, some of our, many of our students have enjoyed, if you can go to the next slide, please. They've decided that they want to um, get an HR uh, degree. So uh, we have, uh, there's a few uh, degrees that HR, um, excuse me, that Niagara College offers, one in hospitality, and the other is in, um, in HR, and there's also a degree in international. But after three years, you might decide, you know what, I really enjoy learning, and I think that for the job that I want in the future, I really need a degree. So how am I gonna get one in the most efficient manner uh, possible? And we have an opportunity where you can apply after a successful three years in the HR uh, diploma program to take a bridge uh, term, which would be May, uh, June, July, August, and you would be taking five courses that would prepare you for the fourth year in the degree program. So as it says in this uh, screenshot, students receive a three-year advanced diploma and four-year degree in under five years. So it's about um, 18 months of the, the uh, degree program. So at, once you take the bridge courses, it just prepares you uh, for the higher level, the senior courses that you're going to be taking because we want you to be successful, uh, then you would uh, finish with a degree also. And that final year in the degree also includes another co-op term. So that's a very exciting opportunity. I can say that 
you know, about 20 to 30 percent of our students in the diploma program do end up staying with Niagara College and doing the bridge and continuing in their degree. But I, we like to make sure that students know about that early because uh, you need to have a minimum 70% GPA. So you want to make sure you're on the right track on meeting all of the eligibility requirements right at the beginning of your career. So thank you for listening to my presentation. And if you have any questions, I'll be happy to answer them in the chat later. So thank you. You know, I wanted to add, I'm sad that that this couldn't be on campus because we have the most beautiful campus. It's like a resort out there. A, you know, um, Niagara College School of Business is in the middle of a, a vineyard. We've got, it, it is kind of like a resort, wouldn't you guys say? It's so beautiful. I, the, I mean, our programs are really good and our profs are fabulous. But our campus in Niagara on the Lake is magical. Yes, don't you think? It is really nice. One of the mm. things that we we don't realize there's so many enterprises that we have at Niagara. You know, with all of our different schools, um, they, they really are business enterprises, and we have an opportunity to connect with them in, in a number of different ways. Yes. Yes, and I, I always see like a collaboration between different uh, students and different programs, how they all, you know, students from like the Canadian Food and Wine Institute will work with the business students and they'll create like advertisements for products. And I, I, I always like uh, think of it as students working um, in, an, in a company because there's all different departments in a company. So you yeah, definitely yeah. get that like real uh, practical experience when you do work in these learning enterprises with students of different um, programs as well. Well, that's really the big difference between our college and universities where where the student not only learns what they need to learn, but they get a chance to do it and put it in practice. I we're, we call that applied learning and all of the enterprises that uh, Barb and Jess Bell were talking about is you're going to learn how to do something and now you're going to work in the actual environment that we that we've set up um, within the college. And I, I, that's not something that universities in general have. That's something that is really specific to college and our college, isn't it? it doesn't that make us stand out a little bit? Mm -hmm. I agree, yeah. For, as, as someone who has done both the university and college route, like I can totally see the difference between, you know, university was all just reading, 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 and then college is more of like get in there and you know, you're actually doing the work with your hands and you're actually applying that knowledge. So I, I definitely see the plus of it. Mm -hmm. I just don't want to point out that Jasper was an excellent student, hence why she's leading the organization in the, uh, in the open house today. So thank you for being such a great student, Jasper. Oh, you're welcome. Thank, Thank you so, so much. <laughs> I really appreciate that. Thank you very much. <laughs> I saw that somebody asked in the question, um, I already have a bachelor's degree. Can I apply to a diploma program? Um, yeah, that's true. You can. And I would also um, encourage you to come to the grad certificate uh, session today as well, because um, a lot of the grad certificates in business, they do require that you have that bachelor's degree too. So that'd be a great session for you to drop into. That will be um, from 12.30 to 1.30 today. Jess Bell, tell them a little bit more about these grad certs because they're, they're an incredible opportunity to add on to a diploma or a degree. Yeah, yes. yeah. Or I find that uh, I did, a, I did a, a grad cert myself and I found that it, uh, it definitely gave me that um, specialization. Um, it was a one-year grad cert. It gave me that one... Uh, one year of specialization in human resources that I, you know, didn't necessarily want to spend another four years or another two years doing. Um, but it, it, I would say that it definitely helped me out in my career. It opened up a lot of doors for me. Um, you know, instead of going from one door to another, it was just like, oh, I can go into recruitment. I can go into project management. I can go into HR. I can go into all these other different doors. So um, I wish I could talk about them for hours, but I only have one minute. But uh, I definitely say it, it, it for sure gave me that specialization and really, really helped me out um, in my career. So I'm very thankful to that postgrad that I did. <laughs> yeah, I can just add to it. It's usually a uh, two semester, so a one year program. 
and includes an internship. So there is a certain number of hours of work that uh, you would be um, expected to complete, but it is um, high charge, very fast, very demanding, but as Jasper says, uh, it sort of situates you in a specialty area and also prepares you for a higher level of certification with the HRPA. So there's a, a number of uh, good opportunities that come from a, um, a grad cert if you're coming with a, a diploma, or excuse me, a diploma or any, any post-secondary um, certificate and of any sorts, you can consider it. But more information on that at the afternoon session. All right, well, thank you so much to everybody who came in and uh, attended the session. I know it was very helpful for all the students. We had a lot of great questions. And again, thank you so much to the program coordinators and Sean and Camilla and everybody else. Um, I hope this was a very informative session and uh, we'll see you in the other ones. <laughs> Take care, everyone. Bye-bye.